Barack Obama. Speaking about the Iranian nuke deal, Mr. Huckabee said this on Saturday. This president's foreign policy is the most feckless uh, in American history. Uh, he's so naive, he would trust the Iranians and he would take the Israelis and basically march them to the door of the oven. The particular comments of, uh, of Mr. Huckabee uh, are, I think, part of just a general pattern that we've seen that uh, is, uh, would be considered uh, ridiculous if it weren't so sad. Well, this now is Republican presidential contender Mike Huckabee. Whenever you mention the Holocaust or mm -hmm. Nazis or atrocities, it's an emotional issue. Everybody gets emotional about it. And we should. Why did you use that bit of conjecture? Because I'm sure you'd agree with me by, by saying that the Iranian nuke deal is going to lead to a Holocaust. is conjecture. Why did you use that? Bill, because the Iranians themselves have used that very term. The Israeli government officials, three different times, uh, recently have said, we're going to create another Holocaust. One of them said that we will wipe Israel off the face of the map. The other one said, it's great that the Jews are all in Israel. That way we don't have to chase them down. They're all in one place. Th these aren't conjectures on my part, Bill. I've been going to Israel since 1973, dozens and dozens of times. And I've also been to Auschwitz three times. The reason that happened was because... People in Europe and in the United States said nothing like that can happen. And, and listen, you are right in the sense that the Iranian, some in the Iranian government are on the record that we want to destroy That's Israel. their official position. That's their position. That being said, if you take that position, what they said, as gospel, you can't make a deal with Iran on any level, at any time. You can't. Well, why would you want to make a deal with people that don't ever honor the deals they made and won't quit that rhetoric? Now, if they made some concessions to preconditions and said, we no longer will uh, say this about Israel, we will respect their right to exist, we won't continue to call America the great Satan and say death to America in the chambers okay, of our look, government. But let's assume they're not going to do that because they're fanatical uh, haters, and yes. that's who they are. But you just said it. You can't make a deal with them. So then the alternative is war, is it not? No, it is not. And, and that's what President Obama and John Kerry keep saying, right. as if they're the only ones who've come up with any options. The real option is to continue the sanctions. Don't let loose. Make them even tougher. But the Russia and China told us, if we had walked away from this deal, that they weren't going to obey the sanctions any longer. And I think you would have had more defectors, too. So it would have been the United States and maybe Britain and a few others. There's an option like that. There's an option. Export energy from the United States. We have several hundred years of it right here under our feet. What we need to be doing is upsetting the balance of power against the Iranians, the Russians, and for that matter, the Saudis. Okay, but that doesn't stop Iran from getting a nuke. So here, here's my dilemma, and I'm, I'm really struggling yeah. with it. If you don't make a deal with Iran, because as you rightly said, they can't be trusted and they're haters and they want to kill Jews and Americans. That's all true. Everybody knows that. All right. But if you don't make a deal with them, A, you give them the nuke because they'll get it. All right. And B, once they're on the verge of getting it, Israel's going to attack and World War Three breaks out and we'd have to support Israel. So war is a scenario. So th that you know, basically the president and others who support him are saying, look, we don't want the war, so we know it's a bad deal. And I think even he knows it's a bad deal. But we're going to do it to just make, maybe there'll be a revolution there. Maybe they'll be overthrown. There won't be if we give them $150 billion to buy arms, Listen, Bill. There's no God, doubt. We had an opportunity in 2009 to stop it, and but we didn't. But stay on topic here. If we don't make the deal, they get the nuke. If we don't go in and militarily make sure so you, they don't. So you're basically saying there would be war. There could be. But the better thing is to cut them off economically. And, and when you say that the Russians and the Chinese will, we don't know that for uh, sure. They, no, they, they were absolutely said but pretty But we what we know. We know what the Iranians have said. And we know that the last time the world did not take seriously the threats to Jews, six million of them died, Bill. And for yeah. us to pretend that these are just empty threats, I've seen this movie before. It does not end well. And America can do better than that. We didn't even get the four hostages out of 
All Iran. Right. Last question. And, and I agree. We should have gotten the four hostages out and been a lot tougher in what we got on our side of the deal. Do you believe President Obama is a naive man or has ill intent in foreign policy? I think he is naive, especially when it comes to radical Islam. He won't even call it by its name. And I do not think he likes Israel. Now, he can say whatever he wants to, but he puts more pressure on Israel for someone building a bedroom onto a house in Judea or Samaria than he does on the Iranians who are trying to build a bomb, for God's sake. All right. Governor Huckabee, thanks for coming in. We appreciate